in the second quarter of 2020, Netflix is reported as having 192.95 million paying subscribers worldwide and generated over 6.14 billion US dollars. Netflix holds more than 6,400 titles available to stream and watch in the UK and the average UK subscription costs between £5.99 and £11.99 with plans to implement a £2.99 subscription that would only allow audiences to watch on mobile devices like tablets and phones. As well as financial success, Netflix also sports other accolades including being credited as the most popular video streaming service based on share of audience demand for digital originals worldwide in the first and third quarters of 2019. With figures like this, it's difficult to argue that Netflix isn't a powerhouse of the digital world. And with the ever expanding accessibility of films and TV via Netflix, its growth could be exponential. Could this growth lead to the end of the cinema experience as we know it? Taylor D.O. Rumble believes Netflix is popular mainly due to new, high quality original content being frequently produced on the site, including shows such as Orange is the New Black, Stranger Things and Narcos, which have all since become hugely popular with large self-sustaining fan bases. Another reason could be the fact that Netflix's subscription service allows you to access a huge library of previously released films without having to pay an extra cost and freely filter content to what is appealing to you whenever you want, on any device, wherever you want. In contrast, cinemas only allow you to view films that have been released recently, cinemas don't provide an index of films that you can pick and choose from, and you must pay per movie you watch, meaning if you want to watch a film you must pay around about £7 per person who's watching. In regards to audience appeal, Netflix arguably has an edge as audiences are less likely to go out and pay for a movie when they can watch it for free at home. So could Netflix's ability to provide a free cinema experience from the comfort of your own home lead to audiences turning their backs on cinemas? Audiences are fragmented, with some believing Netflix is a threat to mainstream cinema while others believing mainstream cinema and Netflix are coexistent, with Netflix being a complement to the cinema experience. Research shows that when Netflix was first introduced in 2012, it had a positive effect on cinema demand, as in 10 European countries when Netflix was introduced, per capita cinema visits went up by 14%. Whilst this seems positive, this research also shows that in later years, Netflix has become more popular than cinema, not only due to the aforementioned high quality content previously available, but also due to increased TV sizes, making the cinema experience easier to mimic, and also an increase in movie ticket prices, reducing the demand for cinema tickets. Given the evidence provided, is there any way that the cinema industry can compete? Arguably, Yes, as in 2020, the global box office revenue amounted to 42.2 billion US dollars compared to Netflix's 6.14 billion in just the second quarter of 2020. However, also arguably no, and the main reason is the coronavirus pandemic. Cinemas and the cinema experience has been significantly affected since the coronavirus pandemic began in early 2020. In March, it was announced that all non-essential services such as cinemas and pubs are to close until further notice to circumvent the UK's rising death count due to the virus. It was also announced in October 2020 that Cineworld were considering shutting down UK screens due to the industry being unviable, with US Cineworld cinemas also at risk of closure. Audience retention is very, very difficult if you're unable to deliver a service, and if cinemas are to close, it almost certainly means that Netflix will be the next point of call for consumers. After enough time, audiences may become accustomed to the idea of watching movies at home and may lose interest in going out to the cinema. However, cinemas could see a rise in popularity again after the pandemic due to what Associate Professor of Film Studies at the University of Groningen, Julian Hannick, describes as the audience effect. He describes the cinema experience as constantly transforming when viewed with others and goes on to state that watching a film with others is crucially different than watching alone, as your behaviour can change when you are being observed. This means if you're watching Netflix on your own, the experience can feel diluted and not the same because of the audience effect. These experiences may then influence your opinion on watching a film on Netflix and could lead to the cinema seeing an audience return en masse to relieve the sense of collective dissatisfaction. To conclude... It is tangible we could see the end of the cinema experience, not only due to Netflix's rise and domination of the entertainment industry, but also in combination with the physical boundaries set before us currently, aka the coronavirus pandemic.
Audiences may not see a return to the cinema for a number of months to possibly years, and all the while Netflix provides a similar, if not superior, viewing experience to audiences in terms of financial cost and viewing choice. As mentioned, since Netflix was introduced, demand for cinema tickets has decreased due to more premium content being available to subscribers, easier access to more films, and the ability to replicate the cinema experience in a person's own home becoming easier. However, it is equally as tangible that cinemas could bounce back due to the audience effect and the idea that the Netflix experience can become diluted due to a lack of spectacle. Audience behaviour is difficult to determine due to free will and individuality, which realistically is the deciding factor as to whether or not anything in the world occurs. Given the evidence provided, Netflix ending the cinema experience is plausible but not impossible.